Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use variables in Java. The first thing you need to learn is the format of typing in the variables. Just type in data type. This is not the real code. This is just an example so I could give you give you a better idea of learning how to do this. And then and I will teach you different types of data type for Java and then this, you can name it as anything for your variable you can name it as cat dog I love you but make sure it's only one word though so it won't cause any errors and the set value for that and semicolon but if you do have same if you have different variables but they have the same data type and the same value then type in name two here. But if they have a different value, but they have same uh, data type, then simply you can type in name three equals a value to different value. Hope this doesn't confuse you. But now I'll teach you. To, I'll be teaching you the data types right now. The smallest one is byte. Let's name that variable dog equals. Oh yeah, byte can be whole. The value can be whole from negative 128 to positive 127. So let's do 127. There are 127 dogs out there. And then next one is short. It can be kind of huge. It can go from negative thirty-two thousand to positive thirty-two thousand. That those those numbers I mentioned aren't exact. I'm I'm just rounding those numbers so it won't take time to say all those numbers. So let's name this cat. And there are thirty-two thousand cats out there. That's a lot of cats. There are a lot of cats out there. Alright, next one is ant. And let's name that turtle. And there are geez, it's huge. It could be from negative two billion to positive two billion. Just do two uh, yeah, two million right here. Alright. And now next one is long. And that's a really huge file, and I can't, I really can't say the number right now because that number is huge, and I don't know how to say those numbers. And let's name that my mouse. Let's make sure that's not huge file. It's a huge file out there for long uh, double. Double uses uh, decimal numbers. It's basically um, it can be in a decimal format. Grams. All right, seven point eight grams. Now make sure you end up with the semicolon. Flow is similar to double, but it's smaller than double. And to tell you, tr and to tell you the truth. I really don't know anything about float, but if anyone teaches me teaches me how to work with float, then I'll include that in my next tutorial, and I'll give you credit for that. And um, another data type after that is boolean. Let's name that open. The only value you can insert is true or false. If you insert anything, but yeah, if you if you insert anything else than truth or true or false, then it'll cause an error. So let's do true for this one. And the next one is string sentence sense. And I'm just naming the string sentence. Alright, for string, you need to put double quotes. Double quotes means 
string if it's if it's not in a parentheses. All right, let's make a sentence. I want to go to the pet store. That's your string right there. You end it with a semicolon. Now, the next one is char. Stands for character. And you use signal. Make sure you have your swing. Make sure you type in the single quote, because that means it is a character. Make sure you only have one character. If you have more than one, then it will cause an error. If you instead of a double quote, and if you no instead of the single quote, and you put in the double quote, then it will also cause an error because it'll it'll think it's a string, a string, but has a char equal to this, so that will cause an error. So just type in the single single quote and the single character. And make sure you close that with a semicolon. All right, we're done with that, and now let's save and compile this. CMD. Let's go to my file. Backslash computer language. Alright, Java. Oh my gosh, I misspelled something. Yeah, I'll pause here real quick until I get to. Oh yeah, I forgot to insert CD. Done with me. <laughs> All right, let's type in this CD. Oh no, yeah. CD. All right, we're there. And do Java C and tutorial. And that's the name of the program we're working on right now. And no errors. Alright, that's good. Nice. So since we're not gonna run this, it's because we haven't output anything. We haven't told we haven't told the computer to output something. But now we are gonna tell tell it to do something. Now, that pert line. I also forgot to mention that L N it means to add like spacing and put the text, the output of text below more and that what basically means and I forgot to toy I forgot to tell you that if you don't want to put LN then you can also do quotation back backslash n and then quotation that will also work if you do both the LN also then we'll it will do a double spacers or something like that. Alright now for this tutorial Let's go. Let's do sent. Oops. Sent. Uh, cat block. From the variable over here, sent. All right. Now you plus. You use plus. We com basically we're combining this sentence with this right here. With a number. So let's say. But let's make sense first. So let's make I want. Let's make a little bit of spacing here because if you don't, then we'll have a word next to period and it will look unprofessional. So let's have spacing here. I want. And then you add plus. You type in the variable dog. 127 and then have dogs here and make sure you have your spacing here so it will look professional and then close that uh, plus means to add like add to the sentence right here I want to go to a pet store and I have a period of here already and then you put spacing right here I want 127 dogs You'll see that in, you'll see that in our input in a bit. All right, let's do Java C again, and then answer that. Um, 
Alright. Alright, you see what it says? Oh, yeah, I forgot to put spacing here. Yeah, you do spacing here, so it'll look professional. I will. After I compile this and run it again, it will show space right here. That's what I meant by looking on professional if I don't put spacing right here. I want to go to the pet store. I want 127 dogs and this output in here. Well, this concludes my tutorial over variables. And for my next tutorial, I'm not sure yet, so stay tuned. And thanks for watching.